NTU has got one of the leading graphic design courses in the UK. The course is growing massively. Um, the student numbers have gone up um, and its reputation is, is, is growing as well. We were aware that there was a, a limitation in terms of the opportunities we had for the students to realise their ideas and produce their ideas effectively in print. We needed to be able to have a way of printing white from doing research um, and going to a few trade shows, I saw that the OQ was actually well above what else was offered out there. And it specifically was a graphics art printer rather than a laser printer, which is exactly what we wanted. Anoki isn't about a basic print room service, it's about a specialist graphics printer. The capability of the printer is quite unique in comparison to digital print, where we're not able to print white or spot varnishes onto coloured cards. That wasn't possible before we had that printer. The flexibility of the media handling is, is exceptional. One of the benefits that we get from the Oki printer is the fact that we can put thicker media through it. Uh, we've been limited previously to about 220 GSM. The printer that we've got with the Oki will go 300 and above. One of the things that we needed to be able to do was foiling, which is a process where we put foil over the top of the print um, and the foil sticks to the toner that's been printed. The Oki provides us with a far more denser level of toner to use foiling with. In terms of my teaching, it gives me freedom. It means I can ask and suggest and support the students in producing ideas. You know, it's a tool for expression as well as a tool for production. One of our second year briefs was a competition brief. I decided to go for the ISTD one, which is the International Society of Typographic Design. I made an editorial book, a publication which was entitled Lost to Alzheimer's. I decided to use the Oki printer specifically for white ink and um, the like spot gloss clear ink as well. It enabled me to print straight onto a coloured stock. So it did make a difference because I didn't really need to worry about the paper stocks I was choosing in terms of like what they were coated with. So I could pick a 350 GSM like a, you know, a shiny coated paper or a matte paper and know that I could put it through a, you know, an LED laser printer. We have a national student survey um, which measures the student satisfaction in the course. It also me measures the student satisfaction with resources and we've seen a year-on-year -year improvement of that. I think part of that is the fact that we're now putting in a very robust print system um, and which the OK is, is part of. I would recommend it to other universities and other institutions. I think it's something that you, students really value, we've seen it. The opportunity this provides the students with for really great value, um, I would hand on heart just say, get one of these printers in your art course. You know, if you're graphic arts, if you, yeah, any kind of creative, creative course that requires students to think outside the digital and articulate and realise outcomes in the physical form, you know, to see this as a specialist tool, yeah, 100%, get one.